Hey, bro, it's Mike. All right, man. So I'm going to show you some exercises, all right? Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is some leg training, all right? And probably the best way to go as far as legs are concerned is squatting, all right? So double leg squats and single leg squats. I'm not sure if you did those at your rehab place. Um, if you did, I'm not sure how you were doing them. So I'm just going to give you some pointers on the right way to do them, what to do, uh, what, what not to do. The biggest thing you would need is a full length mirror so you can see what your body's doing. You got to look at yourself front on and from the side, all right? Those are the two big angles. I'm going to talk about your normal double leg squat first, all right? We'll start with no resistance, nothing like that. Um, but what you want to do is stand feet just a little bit past hip width apart, uh, maybe around shoulder width, but nothing too narrow, nothing too crazy wide, just about over there, make it comfortable. Um, when you're looking at yourself from the front, what you want to do is you want to be squatting down. You want to make sure your knees aren't going in. That's the big thing from this front view, right? So you're going down as low as you can pretty much, not letting your uh, knees go in. If you turn and you face this way, there's a couple things you want to look at. One is how far forward your knees are going, all right? Where your core is going, your pelvis, and what your back is doing. I'll talk about your back first. What you don't want to do is arch your back, right? Over arch it or over slump it, right? Especially if you're loading yourself with the barbell up top. So when you're squatting, what you want to have is a perfectly flat back, okay? You're only hinging from your knees and from your hips. So you're going down just like that. If you don't, want to go down like this, all right, trying to hinge from your back. You don't want to over arch your back like this, all right. Don't feel like you have to always be looking straight. You can bring your shoulders down just like that. It's good for your back. Um, looking at your knees, what you don't want to do is have those knees go forward too much when you're squatting, all right. Um, a lot of people, when they squat, they think, I'm squatting, I'm going down. Actually, what you should be doing is taking this pelvis and going down and back on a 45, all right? You want to load these butt muscles, those glutes, and kind of minimize the stress through your knee, okay? So you're squatting down and back, knees not going past your toes, okay? If you do all those things, you're going to be squatting right. Now, if you want to... Um, Increase the resistance of the squat. What you could do is load it with dumbbells down here, just like that, which I'm sure you know. Or we can go ahead and get a barbell. I'm going to use a broomstick right now, all right? So if you have a barbell, um, I wouldn't do a barbell squat until you can squat with two 25-pound dumbbells in your hands, okay? Barbells usually weigh 45 pounds, so don't jump right into a barbell squat. If you can squat 25 pound dumbbells, get the barbell on your shoulders, all right? Nice, comfortable spot. And it's really important to keep that back straight and hinge forward with it, okay? It's all about what that pelvis is doing. So, that's your double leg squat. Another great one to do is a single leg squat, all right? So, picking up one leg, I'll show you from the front, and you're squatting down. I like to take the hands and hold the pelvis right here. You should basically feel that pelvis rotating, lost my balance there, rotating forward with you, okay? That means your back's staying straight. The same rules apply. You don't want that knee going in like that. You want to keep that knee pointing either straight or a little bit out and a straight line from your knee down to your foot, okay? Everything's the same down from the side. Sitting back, the back is straight. 
I'm just working on how low you can get with good form. All right, that's about as low as I can go right there. Um, you can advance it the exact same way, holding dumbbells, getting a barbell. That's a lot harder of an exercise, so that one's gonna advance uh, more slowly. You can also go ahead and buy something like this. This is a BOSU ball, all right? It's great for, uh, for knee control, lower extremity control, so you can practice like this. Doing double squats with black sides up right now. Stand on up. You can practice squatting up in here. That way you get some balance training. You can also flip it on over. All right, and do some single leg stance on here. So you can stand on one leg. You practice doing some mini squats. You can do that or just practice stand. It's tough just to stand up here. If you can stand for like 30 seconds, you're doing pretty good. But that's basically that. You can also work on closing your eyes. Closing your eyes makes balancing a whole lot harder with or without the BOSU ball. Um, you can buy these at like Dick's or Modell for about 100 bucks. They also have little foam pads you could use. Same deal, but they're easier and they're cheaper. Um, but if you do just some squats with some weight, some balance stuff, and some single leg squats, that's pretty good as far as legs are concerned. Um, that should hold you over, and that'll, I mean, that'll get you strong. The important things are re really loading those glutes, making sure your back stays straight. Um, that'll work out your core, and it'll help you build on your power. So that's it for legs. I'm going to do one more of these for your core and maybe one for for your chest and for your back, all right? So, I'll get those to you soon.